All right, well, it's time now for our SoCal Spotlight, where we highlight a different community every single Friday. And today, Sheba Turk has been taking us to many fun and interesting parts of San Pedro, and there are a lot of them. And now she's taking us to an aquarium that's a family favorite. Guys, we are continuing to show you around San Pedro this morning. We told you it was all about the water, so it only makes sense. We're visiting the aquarium, the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium, which is absolutely gorgeous. Jim DePompe is the program director. Thank you so much for joining us. What makes this aquarium so special? Well, thank you for being here, Sheba. We're really honored to have you here. Cabrillo Marine Aquarium is part of the community for over 85 years, and we love to connect people to the ocean. We offer all kinds of programs, both family programs, school programs, and uh, programs for, for teachers to come down, learn about the local ocean, and then bring that back and educate more people about it as well. Yeah, that's what's so cool. San Pedro's all about the waterfront. You guys are right along the ocean. That's right. We are steps between uh, the ocean, the port, uh, rocky shores, uh, sandy beach, and mud flats as well. We offer programs that take people out into the rocky shore. We do tide pool walks. We do salt marsh open houses. Uh, and we, we connect, like literally connect people to the habitats by bringing them out to those habitats, both families and students as well. Awesome. So where are we now? So right now we're heading into our shark room, and we have uh, one of our amazing aquarists here, Va Valerie Burkholder. And what we're going to be doing is we do uh, a Sunday uh, shark feeding for the public, and Valerie is going to feed some of our sharks for us today. Awesome. And you mentioned she was an aquarist. What is that? That's right. Uh, an aquarist is someone who takes care of our animals here at the aquarium uh, and in zoos and other places as well. Our aquarists uh, focus on animal health, animal care, making sure the tanks are clean, making sure the tanks mimic the uh, natural habitat for the animals as well so that, uh, so that they have very healthy and very robust animals. Very cool. All right, Valerie, well, let's get to it. Kind of tell me what you're going to do here. I am going to put some food in for the sharks. Um, what kind of food? What are they eating? They're going to have some mackerel. They're going to have some shrimp. They're going to have some squid, all of their favorite foods. Ooh. And they're already starting to wake up. They usually spend a lot of their time sleeping. Oh. But they're starting to wake up because I already gave them a couple pieces and they have a really good sense of smell, so they know what that means. They know that it is breakfast time. Okay, well, you get to feeding. I'm going to get out of your way. <laughs> this must be one of the favorite things when people come to the aquarium. Oh, it's fantastic, yeah. Uh, people love to see how the animals are fed and what they feed on as well. Uh, and all of the food that our aquarists feed the animals, they're all uh, human-grade food, uh, so they're very, very well fed. These sharks that we're seeing feeding in here, they're all local species. These are all sharks that you would see right off the coast. You wow. don't have to worry about them. They're not going to hurt you. Uh, these sharks are very, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say tame, but they are wild animals, and they do enjoy doing their wild animal things. So they're going to be searching around for things that they like to eat, like fish and crabs and things like that. And uh, they're rather small. Do they get bigger than this? So these are, these are a little bit smaller than the size that they would get. Our leopard sharks would get about five feet long or so. Uh, but the horn and the swell shark, so the sharks that are down towards the bottom, we have one in the corner over here. That's called a swell shark. They Get to be about three feet long or so and they get their name because they puff up with water if they feel threatened and they swell up in size so they look bigger and it's a little bit uh, more difficult for larger animals to feed on them our horn sharks are the ones that kind of look like pigs from the front and they have these little thorns on their dorsal fins, so on, the, on their back fins. They have these little thorns that helps protect them from larger predators as well. Now, we have some really interesting animals in here, too. We have some skates in here. These are the ones that look like stingrays. And these skates, uh, you can see a couple of them feeding right here. But they have just laid some eggs. So a few of the sharks in here, the horn shark, the swell shark, and the skate, they all lay eggs in order to reproduce. And the little baby grows inside of that egg anywhere from nine months to a year or so, all depending on the, on the water temperature. Uh, and we'll take those those eggs and we'll, we'll um, place them in back so that they can, they can grow and then eventually hatch out and then we'll have more animals on display as well. Wow. 